All right, welcome to What a Crazy Ride. This is Crazy Bob, and uh, I'm trying to introduce this uh, vlog series in a way that um, gets to the heart of the matter of what I'm trying to accomplish, and also talk about uh, something that's maybe uh, going to come across as a disclaimer or um, qualifying my remarks by um, uh, talking this way. But in today's culture, we'll say counter cul or uh, cancel culture, or we'll talk about uh, just in general the culture war that's going on currently. Um, there are people who are willing to do anything to shut someone up or to get their points across. In a world where we have a democratization of being able to have our points uh, made so easily uh, and fly all over the world to be seen by so many people, in a way, uh, people have taken to going the extra mile to censor each other with um, framing the terms of debate, with political correctness, and with signaling of various natures that uh, I'm going to try to avoid to the best of my, uh, of my abilities. But, of course, being a victim or a... Um, or uh, I guess a prisoner of my own culture, I cannot, as they will often say, uh, extract myself from my white privilege or from um, you know some aspects of my culture, which of course has my being white as a part of that. Okay, so anyway, I consider myself a Hoosier. I'm American. I consider myself uh, uh, barely a Kentucky. I was born in the state of Kentucky. My grandfather um, was from. Central City, Kentucky. Uh, my uh, grandfather on my on the other side was basically of Irish uh, Catholic uh, descent, and so we've got kind of a Scots Irish versus Irish um, Protestant versus Catholic uh, star-crossed families uh, where lovers came together to meet to make me. Well, I guess they also made my sister and some other things, but we'll get back at that. Anyway, um, I want to do this um, to explain that what I'm trying to accomplish here is to open the lines of conversation for things that are too hard to say right now in a lot of ways to a lot of people. Well, for me, they're hard to say because I have had a restraining order against me for um, upwards of uh, 12 years. And the specifics of that aren't that important right now, but I'll get into them over time. And I want to make sure that I do my best to show people the, the truth. I don't want it to be varnished to a point where I'm not coming across as real. Because actually I am real. Um... The points I make and the politics I have and the uh, philosophies and the uh, ideas that I have, well, sometimes they're going to conflict. Sometimes they're difficult to deal with. Sometimes they're, um, they're going to clash with political correctness, and sometimes they're going to walk a, a straight line with a political correctness. At the same time... Um, they're not going to be the politics of, of conformity necessarily to a Protestant Christian ethic. Um, and I've lived a life of uh, many contradictions, many difficulties, many, uh, uh, of many situations where I've had to figure out how to get through without knowing the answer. In degrees of uncertainty, of which there are many, um, I've been in situations where that uncertainty is at an extreme. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for checking out what I'm doing here with What a Crazy Ride. I'm going to try to vlog daily. Uh, when I say daily, I don't mean that I'm going to post daily. I'm going to try to vlog daily, and I'm going to try to post at least three times a week um, for information. I might I might bump that up to five times a week, but I can't tell the future. That's something that I like to keep... Uh, um, I consistent in my thoughts. Uh, I don't know the future. None of us do. And the reason it's a crazy ride and the reason today's times are crazy 
is because there is a battle of people claiming to know the future. And there are people who are claiming to know what is right for you and I and our kids and their kids' as kids and the planet and everything else. And there are people who are working against those people, even when they're right, even when they're trying to do the right thing. Um, sometimes there's just too many us's and they's. And I'm constantly asked, who's they? Who's they? Well, I'm crazy, so I might come up with some pretty crazy they's. But at the same time, I'm not crazy. So there's my first great contradiction. At the same time, I don't think I'm delusional, um, but I don't think I know everything either. So I encourage everybody to uh, keep an open uh, mind and keep an open discussion uh, going in the comments whenever we have uh, topics that are difficult or uh, controversial. I'm sure there will be. Um, but uh, I'm going to address politics. I'm going to address um, living off grid. I'm going to address police brutality. I'm going to address uh, the battle of the sexes. Uh, Li uh, women's liberation. I'm going to uh, talk about um, uh, things that are difficult to talk about. Uh, they say you shouldn't talk about religion, you shouldn't talk about politics. Well, I'm going to talk about both on here. And so far, I've kept everything on the uh, uh, YouTube channel bland because of I hadn't decided uh, whether this part of the journey was something that I wanted to be public or not. And since the way things have gone, I want to make sure now, for one reason more than any other, it's not about selling you guys on my ideas or what's going on. It's about protecting myself. It's about being as open and honest as I can on here and uh, showing y'all warts and all uh, what Crazy Bob is doing because, as it turns out, it's dangerous what I'm doing right now. And... Uh, over the next couple of weeks, I think you're going to figure out why. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Click the like and subscribe button. Uh, click, I guess, the little bell that says that gives you uh, updates or notifications when this is updated. And uh, thank you very much. Put any comments below. Thanks.